Usually what we do uh, in the nearest day service is bring what we call as the word of the Lord. As we have been doing uh, every New Year's Day when we bring the word of the Lord, uh, we emphasize that this is not the only message God has for us. It is a word, something that he wants to speak to you and me concerning uh, the year ahead, something to move us into, to give us focus, to give us direction. But all of us understand that we live by the whole Bible. So for 2022, this is what I believe God is speaking to us. He's saying, go take your mountain. Go take your mountain. Conquer your giants and occupy your inheritance. Go take it. Now, of course, there may be giants. It's not easy. So you need to conquer your giants. Amen. Don't get afraid of them. Go conquer them like Caleb. We're going to look at uh, a little more detail on what he did. But we need to go conquer those giants. And that we need to go occupy. I want to highlight, you know, seven steps of faith that Caleb took in order to go take his mountain. Number one, and I'm putting it as instructions for us, know the word, know the word. So what do you think Caleb based his entire mission on? It was on what God said. God had spoken. God had spoken. So in order for us to take our mountain, for you to take your mountain, know the word of God. Know what God has said to you. What he has promised you concerning that mountain. Number two is what do we see Caleb do? He spoke his faith. In verse 7 of Joshua 14, he said, I brought back word to him as it was in my heart. He said, I, I, I just spoke what was in my heart. I saw the giants. I saw those big cities. But my heart said, God will help us. He spoke his faith. He didn't speak how big the giants were. He wasn't impressed by the giants. He wasn't impressed by those fortified cities. He believed and he spoke his faith. He rose above unbelief. So that's number three. You see, all the people who were in unbelief, they could not enter in to the promised land. They couldn't get in there. But it's people of faith who will go take their mountain. So rise above the unbelief. Don't let the negative things people say put you down. Number four, I wholly followed the Lord my God wholly follow God. That means you have a single-minded devotion and a single-minded focus to what God wants you to do. Be single-minded in your devotion and in your focus on what God has called you to do. Amen? Number five, what else do we see Caleb do? This is in verse 11 of Joshua 14. He said, I am as strong this day as on the day that Moses sent me. That's number five. Keep yourself strong. As you prepare to go take your mountain, as you prepare for this mission this year, 2022, I'm going to take my mountain. Keep yourself strong spiritually. Number six, last two. Number six. Conquer your giants. This is in verse 12. What are those things that are intimidating you today, those are your giants. Conquer them. What are those things that are staring you in the face and telling you you cannot take this mountain? Those are your giants. Conquer them. Amen? Go face them. Like Caleb said, I will drive them out. The last thing we see, number seven, is this. It says, Joshua blessed him and gave Hebron to Caleb. But Caleb had to go and occupy that mountain. 
Joshua said, Caleb, you want it? Go take it. And he had to go and occupy that mountain. So go into that space. Go into what God has for you. Occupy it. Put your foot on that mountain. Get in there. Maybe from all this while you've been looking at it from a distance. This year, get into it. So that's the transformation you can bring when you go occupy your mountain. You can bring about a change. When you go take your mountain. When you conquer your giants. And when you occupy your inheritance.